Hello there. Hello. Hello. So the same for you. How, how have you become the painter that you're known for now? Because you've got a very, very well-known and distinct style. How, how yes. did you arrive where you're at, would you say? Well, I actually think that uh, I'm quite similar in da to David in, in that, that uh, when I started, like uh, I was just uh, by myself. I was inspired by looking at Kulmini or not. Yeah. I didn't uh, knew anyone who was into painting, not at all. Like it was just uh, really an accident because it was in the uh, time of my life when I was studying like history and mm. IT, and I've also uh, started to feel like I really don't want to continue uh, that uh, that train of education, and I I was feeling burned out and without missing the purpose, creative. missing something, and then I uh, just came to find. Uh, could mean or not really by accident and I was like looking at that and said wow like people are painting amazing stuff and uh, they are selling this on eBay and they're making a living out of it some yeah. of them and I was just I will just do it like just it was just like that it <laughs> okay. clicked it was like uh, like yeah like providence almost yeah. like yeah it just clicked for me and uh, I decided I, I could uh, really try to do it to, to learn to paint uh, I was like a painter like years years before but just like a just like a hobby nothing really serious mm -hmm. I didn't really have anything uh, to do with with art education or anything any anything artistic really uh, but it just felt like something that I really want to do and to dedicate myself so uh, I was really like obsessed with uh, uh, being disciplined disciplined and yeah. working really hard there was like I remember the quote from one of the painters they really liked uh, from the early days was Silfit, uh, who in an like interview said that uh, it's not really talent; it's like ninety percent hard, ninety percent yeah. hard work, ten percent talent. And I really took it to heart and <laughs> and like started to get up at five o'clock in the morning and paint every moment and learn and learn and learn and try to improve. And uh, well, it it uh, started to. Uh, to like uh, and I started to improve over time of course like the first years were really like frustrating I had to like I was constantly like uh, frustrated that the effects aren't uh, as well as I wanted but I like persisted and uh, and I guess that this that my personal style developed just by that that's uh, uh, by first, I started by uh, trying to copy, of course, like the people, say, yeah, yeah. key influences, key influences. Words. But I was like uh, getting to thi to 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 things by my own, by myself. Okay. So, uh, and I always liked that uh, that go that uh, accomplishment, that mm -hmm. feeling of accomplishment when you manage to do something by yourself. It's just like I'm uh, that kind of person that really likes to to like. Uh, struggle for yeah you. struggle struggle and achieve something yeah. so uh, so I guess that's the main reason why I've got like a really distinctive style mm. and uh, kind of developed yeah, in isolation yeah yeah, yeah. And there were also like uh, I, I, I always liked uh, like the uh, I was like I think I'm a perfectionist in in, in that uh, sense that when I try to dedicate myself to something I like dedicate 100% mm. I can't do it like uh, casually yeah so uh, yeah i really liked like super precise painting like doing like patterns ultra like precise stuff like that and i also always loved colors even though like i've got a i think a, a very instinctual understanding of color theory i never really uh, read much about it or stuff yeah, like that it's just, just yeah out of all the paints i can think of your style strikes me as naturally very artistic which is interesting yeah, given that you said that's not your background at all it's it's really not like my my mother had an artistic like uh, she studied at uh, arts academy so mm -hmm. we, but uh, she's an english teacher anyway so. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i don't know i think it's just natural to me like the understanding of color i i guess it's uh, uh, and it uh, but i still think that most of it came through like hard work and dedication like not that i'm a particularly talented i've got like some some areas in which i'm i guess i'm pretty talented like maybe in understanding color and stuff but there are some uh, some areas that are like i would never be able to do it like some uh, some of the freehand stuff like that uh, some people do like mm -hmm. painting an entire scene painting on a banner something yeah. like that ah, i couldn't do it uh, in a million years, something like that. It's yeah. Where did your um, where did your take on dry brushing, stippling, that type of stuff? Was that there from the beginning? No, no, no. It or actually did it manifest. Uh, actually, I started to experiment with uh, like dry brush like a few years ago. I'm not mm. really sure exactly when. It just uh, came naturally. 
uh, but it was after uh, after I tried to experiment with uh, using airbrush and I really didn't like it. I I tried to for some time to to learn it and to because it's just more way more efficient mm -hmm. for some techniques. Uh, but then I just realized no, I won't I won't do it. I I, I don't enjoy it. So you don't enjoy do it at all. Yeah, I just really don't enjoy the noise, the the fact that you need to clean all of this. I I I, I like to really be put. Um, like be in the zone when I'm yeah. painting, like relax, like listen to audiobooks, podcasts, music, yeah. stuff like that. Turn my turn my brain mm -hmm. almost and to focus totally on uh on on this I don't know, like uh, on this pursuit. Yeah, on this on this pursuing this activity and like airbrush didn't it you don't want a machine fit, in, yeah, involved didn't in that fit. Process. And that's the that's the other thing like I always uh, thought about myself a little bit like a, like a monk in a monastery, <laughs> <laughs> medieval monk that's locked away in a cell and yeah. just like the, is like uh, doing those codexes, like yeah. painting, writing them. I don't know. It's it's a that, that kind are. of like meditative uh, yeah. activity for me. Okay. I guess it's really interesting. I didn't realize it was such a a modern. Yeah, it's been painting much, for a long time. Yeah, like. You've, You've obviously developed it a lot in a very short time. And I time just period. try to experiment with things like uh, without thinking about like using a particular technique. Just uh, just experimented with what works, yeah. what is fast, what uh, what what I can do, and then like gradually it became like uh, a more uh, like uh, like something that I embraced. Like I yeah. thought, like, yeah, this is this works, and then I started to think about it more, how to improve it, how to how to make it more efficient, and yeah. And it's also like a technique that I really enjoy because it's simple and it's fast and like I really enjoy every step of it. It's very flexible, isn't it? Yeah. So um, what's coming up for you then? What what does the next year or so hold in store for you, do you think? Well, uh, since now I'm like focusing mostly on the my Patreon, mm -hmm. uh, I've got a lot of projects in <laughs> mind. Like uh, some, of, some of them are like uh, from the new releases of Games Workshop, like the Shadow Spear. So I will be using, I will be doing Abaddon, of course, for sure. And uh, whatever, whatever the new new cool minis will come out. And apart from that, I've got my Kingdom Dead project, which I really like. Some models they want to do, and I also want to do some completely different stuff, like probably uh, some historical models, okay. maybe some busts again, and uh, maybe some vehicles, like historical vehicles. I don't know. I like to I like to do some different stuff, and uh, not to be like to, not to totally like be stuck in one thing. Yeah. Do you Just to, Yeah. Do you have a um? Do you try and work on miniatures for no longer than a certain time period? Because you fit quite a lot in, don't you? Do you? Mm, it depends. Or does it just it depends if I enjoy it. I sometimes like to switch from one project to another just to have that feeling of enjoyment. When I when I don't enjoy it anymore, I need to take a break from yeah. it and then get back to it later. And besides, I think it's more uh, and more effective like strategy to not to paint uh, the same model over and over and put the updates of this picture. So just one day paint this, the other yeah. paint that, and like make it more like uh, the, make the variation like more 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 variable. Yeah, amazing. Right. Well, we will post a link down to your Patreon below and Thanks. also to your social yeah. media. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you very much.